Hello, uh, this is Dr. Do again. This video is uh, on alphabetic list of problems uh, on letter G. Today I'm going to talk about a genetic disease which is called glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, short form pharmabin uh, disease, the pharmabin hemolytic anemia. So, uh, what is this disease? Usually, this is uh, uh, before I talk about the uh, uh, disease, uh, is there any uh, associate problem um, need to visit emergency yes if it's um, if it is a, a hemolysis really severe you feel after you taking medications you feel yellow um, jaundice and also feel tired of fatigue shortness of breath usually this is not a, um, emergency process it's a chronic but uh, uh, however if the depends on the medication, depends on the um, culprit uh, factors. If it is a severe cause of the symptom symptomatic of anemia hemol from uh, hemolysis, then you need to visit emergency to give medication and to um, instruct to discontinue whatever the uh, either the medication or the food cause this kind of um, uh, hemolysis and anemia. Uh, usually, it's not uh, that uh, emergency compared to uh, other uh, hemolytic anemia, for example, the mismatch of the blood type. Uh, that was the type 1, uh, pro, uh, type 2 reaction. It's very serious, can uh, cause the hypotension, etc. But this, this um, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, it's usually it's a chronic. It's it's not a chronic. It could be acute, but not that severe. Uh, but still, you need to call your physician if, uh, just like I said, um, those symptoms: the symptomatic of anemia, jaundice, if you uh, shortness of breath, chest pain, fatigue. Then you need to call your physician. So, what is this? Uh, is there any condition you can manage at home? Um, probably. Uh, depends the cause usually, but you need to um, get advice from your physician and then your, your physician will um, instruct you further whether you can just uh, by discontinue your medication or give you some um, medication to treat it. But anyway, um, so what is this disease? Uh, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency is a mouthful, but just the six, a G6PD deficiency that's probably the, that's very well accepted um, or very well known very common actually quite common condition so before i talk about disease let's talk about what is this glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase this is the enzyme on the pathway of uh, glycolysis which is glycolysis which means the glucose metabolism the first enzyme actually the importance of this enzyme is not because the product uh, is not because of the uh, the enzyme itself or dynamic, but it's just the, the side product. Because during this uh, enzyme catalyzed reaction, generate another uh, side product for the, uh, called NAPDH. This H, which is the hydrogen ion, is plays a very important role in the body to antioxidant and um, because during this NADPH if it uh, this chemicals give up this H hydrogen we are really uh, cycling the glutathione and also during this cycling of glutathione uh, a lot of um, oxidant will be reduced so the oxidant we all know is very harmful the oxygen can cause aging, can cause immune reaction, can even can cause cancer. So uh, this antioxidant function of this uh, uh, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is very critical. So for those people without this enzyme, so then this NADPH produced is not enough to uh, to function as antioxidant. A little confusing, but anyway, so this, um, in summary, one word for clinical or for you to understand beyond that biochemistry uh, a concept. So this glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency will decrease body uh, antioxidant function. So that is including uh, the 
red blood cells. The red blood cells cannot uh, de uh, defend the uh, oxidant, so uh, susceptible to the oxidant damage causing the hemolysis. That's fundamental concept for this. So what are the causes of this? Uh, it, if you have this uh, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency without eating extra oxidant, uh, like uh, generating the free radicals, or the medications have this oxidant function, or the food, flower beans, the most notorious associate, uh, food associated with this uh, special condition. So. Uh, if you do not take this kind of medication, you are symptomatic. You do not have any problem because the body can still function. But when during this kind of uh, challenge of the uh, extra oxidant in the body, then um, this enzyme is not enough. So the, the lack of IADPH cannot uh, fight the, those oxidant. So what are the medications can cause? A lot of medications can cause this, some antibiotics, some chemotherapy drugs, and also flower beans, another one. Um, so basically after, if in the case you did not know, and this is a X-linked recessive uh, inheritance, which means usually it occur on, only in male, and the mother could be the, uh, the carrier, and the children have this, uh, phenotype and it tend to occur in the african-american uh, just like the sickle cell uh, anemia and this uh, disease also tend to occur in some uh, group of uh, african-american descendants and uh, the symptom the problem is after you take uh, for example um, anti-malaria medication anti-cancer medication and then you develop this jaundice feel tired so that's probably um, it happened, the, uh, the oxidant really caused this hemolysis. Now you need to call your physician to discuss and to test, to treat it. So this is about the, um, the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency disease. Because basically it's hemolysis, the broken, up, uh, bro broken red blood cells. And uh, uh, it's a genetic disease, but uh, usually without symptomatic, without problem, uh, unless you take some oxidant, like medication or food. So uh, I hope this, uh, this video, just uh, for general purpose, to give you some idea. There's some disease not quite common, but could happen. Uh, if that's the case, then you, you know either your friend or uh, people around you have this kind of uh, situation, then you probably uh, know it and uh, to... Uh, Hopefully it helps. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.